God has a special message just for you. Don't miss it. He's ready to tackle your problems and offer divine guidance. All your questions will be answered in the last 30 seconds. Stick around for these divine insights until the very end. My beloved child, remember always that you are my cherished creation, formed by my own hands with the utmost care and intention. I knit you together in your mother's womb, and I have known you and loved you since before the foundation of the world. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, a masterpiece bearing my divine imprint. I want you to grasp the profound truth that you are never alone. Even in your darkest moments, when you feel most lost and abandoned, I am there. My presence goes before you, walks beside you, and hems you in from behind. There is nowhere you can flee from my loving gaze. If you ascend to the heavens, I am there. If you make your bed in the depths, I am there. My right hand upholds you always. My child, I see the burdens you carry. I know the weight of your past hurts, present struggles, and future anxieties. I understand the depths of pain you have experienced, the times you have felt rejected, misunderstood, and cast aside, the seasons of doubt, fear, and despair that have threatened to overwhelm you, the crushing loneliness that has enveloped your soul. I weep with you in your suffering. Your tears are precious to me, and I collect each one in my bottle. I feel every ache of your heart as if it were my own. When you are brokenhearted, I draw near. When your spirit is crushed, my arms of love encircle you. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Beloved, I want you to know that your pain has not been wasted, though the enemy meant it for evil. I will use it for good. The trials you have endured are producing in you a faith more precious than gold. They are refining you like silver, burning away the dross to reveal the purity of my image within you. Your suffering is not meaningless. It is preparing you for a weight of glory beyond all comparison. Now, my child, I have a sacred calling for you, a holy purpose that I planted deep within your heart long ago. I am inviting you to partner with me in bringing my kingdom to earth, to be my hands and feet to a hurting world, to shine as a light in the darkness, reflecting my love to those around you. Remember the times when you were at your lowest point, when despair threatened to swallow you whole, when you cried out for someone, anyone to see you, to understand, to offer a lifeline of hope. I was there with you in those moments, my child, I heard your cries, I felt your pain, and now, I am calling you to be for others what you so desperately needed then. Be the person you needed when you were at your lowest. Let your past struggles become the very source of your present strength and compassion. Allow the comfort you have received from me to overflow to those around you. For I comfort you in all your troubles so that you can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort you yourself receive from me. Offer kindness to the hurting, my child. In a world that can be so cold and callous, be a wellspring of warmth and gentleness. Remember how a simple act of kindness sustained you in your darkest hour? How a gentle word or caring touch rekindled hope within you? Now it is your turn to be that beacon of kindness to others. Let no one you meet leave your presence without feeling seen, valued, and cared for. Speak words that build up and give grace to those who hear. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. Use your words to encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, and patiently support everyone. For your words have the power to bring life or death. Choose to speak life, hope, and healing over all you encounter. Extend compassion to the broken, my beloved, for you know what it is to be wounded and in need of tender care. Let your heart be moved with compassion as mine is. See beyond outward appearances to the pain and longing in every soul you meet. Clothe yourself with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. 
Bear with each other and forgive one another as I have forgiven you. Offer understanding to those who feel misunderstood and cast aside. For you have walked in those shoes, have you not? You know the ache of feeling like no one truly sees or comprehends your struggles. Now, my child, I call you to be quick to listen and slow to speak. To seek first to understand before being understood. To create safe spaces where others can be vulnerable without fear of judgment. If you want God's grace always upon you, then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button. Be willing to enter into the pain of others, to sit with them in the ashes of their grief and disappointment. Do not rush to offer trite platitudes or easy answers. Sometimes the greatest gift you can give is your presence, to weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. Your willingness to share in their suffering will speak louder than words ever could. My child, I am calling you to become a source of strength for the weary and heavy laden, to be a sturdy shoulder to lean on, a strong tower of refuge in times of storm. Remember how you longed for someone to help bear your burdens when they felt too heavy to carry alone? Now you can be that support for others. Strengthen the feeble hands and steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong. Do not fear. Your God will come. For I have promised that those who hope in me will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Share the strength I give you with those who are weak and faltering. Offer hope to the hopeless, my beloved. For you have tasted the sweetness of my promises in your own life. You have experienced my faithfulness even in the darkest valleys. Now I call you to be a voice of hope in a world drowning in despair. Remind others that weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That I am working all things together for the good of those who love me. That nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate them from my love. Be generous with your time, resources, and abilities. For freely you have received, now freely give. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Remember the poor. For whatever you do for the least of these, you do for me. My child, as you pour yourself out in love and service to others, know that I will continually fill you up. You cannot outgive me. The more you give, the more I will supply. For it is more blessed to give than to receive. As you refresh others, you yourself will be refreshed. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Though you may not always see the fruit of your labor immediately, know that no act of love is ever wasted in my kingdom. Even a cup of cold water given in my name will be remembered and rewarded. Remember, my beloved, that you do not serve in your own strength. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. When you are weak, then you are strong, for my strength is perfected in your weakness. Abide in me, and I will abide in you. For as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. Stay closely connected to me through prayer, worship, and meditation on my word. For only as you remain rooted and grounded in my love can you effectively pour out that love to others. My child, as you walk in obedience to this calling, know that I go before you. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. I will give you words to speak when you feel inadequate. I will supply all your needs according to my glorious riches in Christ Jesus. For I who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Take heart, beloved. Though you may feel small and insignificant, know that I can do immeasurably more through you than you could ever ask or imagine. Your willingness to be used by me, to offer comfort with the comfort you have received, will have ripple effects far beyond what you can see. One act of kindness one word of hope, 
One gesture of love can change the course of a person's life forever. Remember always that you are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Feel free to share this video with up to three people if you feel the need for God's presence. Let others too bask in the divine light of our Heavenly Father, my child. As you step out in faith to be the person you needed when you were at your lowest, know that I am cheering you on. All of heaven rejoices when you extend my love and grace to others. The hosts of heaven are watching and marveling at the unfolding of my redemptive plan through your life. Be strong and courageous, for I am with you wherever you go. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to me, and I will make your path straight. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Remember, my beloved, that you are more than a conqueror through Christ who loved you. Nothing can separate you from my love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate you from my love that is in Christ Jesus. As you go forth to be a source of strength and compassion to others, know that my favor rests upon you. My face shines upon you. I rejoice over you with singing. You are the apple of my eye, engraved on the palms of my hands. I have called you by name. You are mine. Be bold and courageous in loving others, my child. Do not hold back out of fear or insecurity, for perfect love casts out all fear. The love I have lavished upon you is meant to flow through you to a hurting world. You are my ambassador, entrusted with the ministry of reconciliation. As you have freely received my love, freely give it away. Remember that every person you encounter is precious to me. Each one bears my image, no matter how marred or hidden it may seem. Look for me in the face of every person you meet, in the eyes of the homeless man on the street corner, in the tears of the single mother struggling to make ends meet, in the confusion of the rebellious teenager, in the weariness of your elderly neighbor. As you offer kindness, support, and understanding to others, you are doing it unto me. For truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Each act of love, no matter how small, echoes in eternity. Do not underestimate the power of small gestures, my child. A warm smile, a listening ear, a gentle touch, these simple acts can be balm to a wounded soul. You may never know the full impact of your kindness this side of heaven, but I see every tear you wipe away, every burden you help carry, every word of hope you speak, and I am faithful to reward. Remember too, beloved, that in serving others you will find your own healing and purpose. As you comfort others with the comfort you have received, your own past pain is redeemed. As you offer others the understanding you once craved, your own wounds are bound up. As you become a source of strength for the weak, your own inner resolve is fortified. For it is in giving that we receive, in pardoning that we are pardoned, and in dying to self that we are born to eternal life. The path of self-sacrifice and servanthood may not be easy, but it leads to true fulfillment and abundant life. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. My child, click on the join button to join us as a cherished member of our community. My child, I have given you a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control. 
So do not let your light be hidden, but let it shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Go forth in confidence, knowing that you do not walk alone. My Spirit dwells within you, empowering and guiding you each step of the way. Listen for my still, small voice directing you. Pay attention to the nudges of compassion I place in your heart. Follow my leading as I bring people across your path who need a touch from me through you. Remember always that you are my beloved child, in whom I am well pleased. Nothing you do or fail to do can ever change my love for you. Your identity and worth are secure in me. You do not need to earn my love or approval. You already have it fully and forever. Minister to others not out of obligation or to prove your worth, but out of the overflow of my love for you. My child, I am doing a new thing in and through you. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Your past pain is being transformed into present purpose. Your story of redemption is still being written, and I am inviting you to partner with me in bringing that same redemption to others. Be the person you needed when you were at your lowest. Offer kindness, support, and understanding to others, becoming a source of strength and compassion just as you once sought. For in doing so, you are participating in my divine nature and continuing the ministry of my Son, who came not to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Know that I am with you always, to the very end of the age. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. So go forth, my beloved child, and shine my light brightly in this dark world. Be my hands and feet, my voice of hope and healing, for you are my workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. I am cheering you on, my child. All of heaven stands ready to aid you in this holy calling. Never doubt that you are deeply loved, infinitely valuable, and eternally significant in my kingdom. Your life matters more than you could ever fully comprehend. So arise, shine, for your light has come, and my glory rises upon you. Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. For you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, my special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Go now, and be the change you wish to see in the world. Be the hands that help, the arms that embrace, the shoulders that support, be the ears that listen without judgment, the voice that speaks words of life the feet that go where I send you. Be the heart that loves unconditionally, the eyes that see the best in others, the smile that brightens someone's day. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you.